You like a good story, Riley? Then start at the beginning. Any change? No. I felt the same way about you ever since I fell into your lap on the subway. Not until we put down our phones, switch off our computers, and look in each other's eyes will we be able to touch each other's hearts. Hi. Hi. And what do you want from him? I, I don't know. I just, I don't want him with her. I don't think you should hang out alone with this girl. Why not? My moment will be my moment. They're just friends. Believe me, I know the story. What am I to you? What are you to me? who I go on my first date with at such time as somebody asks me. Would you like to go out with me? Yay! There are some moments you know you're going to remember forever. This is one of them. Do you know those moments that you were talking about that you were going to remember forever? Yeah. I really like you, Ryan. I guess we should. Try again. Stop holding hands. You look crazy. I guess. I really like you, Riley. We always have such a great time together. We should break up. We should break up right now. Back in Texas, I did something. I had to leave. I came here to get a new start. Nobody knew me here. Do I know you? I like you. Do you think it's right to let me like you without telling me who you are? You know who I am. Why wouldn't you tell me about this? It's not something I'm proud of. I guess you do something and that's the end of it. You think that's what I'm upset about, whatever you did? That I don't know you. And you don't know me. You were the first boy I ever liked. That's a big deal for me. Are you worth it? Tell me and I'll believe you. I want to believe you. Are you worth it? Yes. As long as you're not different than I think. Because I think a lot of you. I used to be different than I am. I came here. <laughs> Riley, you're laughing at me? Oh. Your transfer slip. I'm Lucas Fryer from Austin, Texas. Oh. New student, Mr. Fryer? Yes, sir. I'd rather be reminded of when something good started. Lucas, I'll get you. Thank you. Maya, Lucas, congratulations on winning favorite couple. But we're so much alike. And they're so different. But we're like a summer rain. And they're like fire. And you are a complete ray of sunshine. Oh, Lucas, you're a very sweet guy. That's why I always liked you since I fell into your lap on the subway. It's why we should have been favorite couple, because we're so much alike. You know, it's like we're two sunshiny people from the same sunshiny family. That's why I like you so much. It's like you're my brother. Oh. It's, it's like he's... What? Did you find anything out about me that maybe you should tell me? No. It's this weekend. Lucas hasn't asked me to the semi-formal. Riley? Yes, yes, I would love to go to the semi-formal with you. I, I was hoping you would. Oh, you can't go to the dance? Unbelievable. I'd like you both to know that I don't regret asking her. Uh, uh, let me understand this. You you asked Riley to the dance? I did, because see, uh, you didn't. Uh, Charlie, you may not know this, but Riley and I kind of have an unofficial thing going. I just naturally assumed that we were going together. What? 
thought we were going together. I'm, I should ask. What? I'm sorry you can't come. How am I supposed to feel, Maya? I like Lucas, don't I? You were me. How did I feel when you were me? What are we, Lucas? Just tell me what to say. You know something. Tell me. Okay, there was once this girl who had to make a choice between Eric and me. She liked me as a boyfriend. Yeah, and she liked me. How? How did she like me? She liked me as a brother. Are you two still friends? You know what? I haven't seen her in a really long time. Are you two still friends? Yeah, we talk all the time. She and I are still great friends. Keep your friends around as long as you can. That's the best choice you can make. you assume we were going to the dance if we're not officially together? I don't know. Why would you make a big deal about it if we're not officially together? Why would you make such a big deal about me asking her if you're not officially together? I had to break a tea cowboy, but you're still dancing with me, and Riley's dancing with us. I want Maya to be happy. The blonde beauty? Lucas talks about himself like that. He's talking about you. Yes. Would you? Absolutely. Do me the Any honor. Anytime at all. Of Whatever you want. Mrs. Do you not understand? Yes. Sparkle Minkus. You're gonna be there, right? I'm gonna tell you something bad, and I need you to not turn into Texas Lucas. <laughs> Sparkle, nothing is gonna turn me back into that. Something's happening to Riley. What? What a tough thing in Riley Town. Okay. So now we know two things. First, you are going to stay exactly who you are. But I'll say, I don't think we need to. Okay, it's not a hold him. Why would you not tell me about this? I should be able to. No, you shouldn't. You don't have to, Riley. That's the point of having friends. And did you really think there was anything you could put in this window to keep me from helping you? I know what Mr. Matthew says is right, but Riley, if you want me to, whoever this is, I will take care of it for you. Thank you, Lucas. Bonjour! Somebody doesn't love this? You signed me up to ride Tombstone the Ball! I believe in you. I believe that you can do anything you want to. I have to do this. Okay, then go out there. Be the hero I know you are. Thank you, Riley. If you do this, I will never speak to you again. Why would she do this? I don't know, but I'm about to find out. Riley, I, I kind of like you to watch. pretty brunette who never gives up on anyone or anything and no sacrifice is too big for a friend. Well, you're right. I love him like a brother. That's how I love him. Hey, Lucas, can I talk to you? Actually, I have something to say to you, Riley. If it wasn't for you, I don't know if I would have got on that bowl. And if it wasn't for you, I don't know if I would have survived in New York. You're really important to me. You're really important to me too, Lucas. We've always been really good at talking to each other. If you let someone say who you are, then you really won't be who you are. But we've never been too good at holding hands. 
And then we tried being a couple and we couldn't even talk to each other. We're just sitting. Yeah, we haven't talked to each other much at all. It's too bad because you're one of my favorite people to talk to. I don't want that. I want to know you're always there to talk to. And you certainly won't end up being who you were meant to be. You're my brother, Lucas. And I'm your sister. That's what you think we are? That's what I think we are. It's always mattered more to me what my friends think about me than what I think. I love you, Lucas. And now I know how. Riley and I are brother and sister now. What does that even mean? You know what else? I don't get nervous when I'm with you anymore. We're doing the right thing. Riley, I, I don't even know what's going on What's right going now. on is that we're going to be the best of friends and care about what each of us has to say for the rest of our lives. Yeah, I sort of thought we had that. What does brother and sister mean? We're just like how you and Maya were. Hey, Huckleberry. Are we dancing or what? Oh, we can do that? Is that part of the new rules? This kind of dancing, sure. Oh, you've done this before? Never! And how are you so good? Because I'm finally relaxed with you. I'm not sure that's good news. It is, Lucas. I had no idea it would be in Texas, just like I had no idea I would ever dance with a rodeo star. The only thing I know is that I always want to be able to talk to you. And maybe that this is the best way to do that. If that's what you want. You know what I don't want? I don't want to go out for a while and break up and not like each other anymore. Isn't that what happens next? Isn't that what people do? I don't understand that, Lucas. I always want you around. Maybe the best way to do that is to be like brother and sister. Maya likes you. Riley! She's been hiding it all this time. That's why she couldn't watch you at the rodeo. What are you doing? I saw you, Maya. I saw how much you cared. Riley, what are we? I told you what we are. What if that's not what I think we are? Well, then, you better start thinking of us like that. Riley, I... Lucas, we will always be there for each other. <laughs> My brother. Hey, hi. Hey, Riley. You know, um, I want to thank you again for believing in me and giving me the confidence that I would be okay. I will always believe in you. And I will always be here. Thank you, Riley. Hi. Hey. Hey. Hi. Wow. Riley, something happened between me and Lucas. Yes, Charlie. I will go out with you. Isn't it amazing how comfortable we are with each other? I don't feel comfortable at all. Riley has one brother in their life. Isn't you. Riley's my sister. I'm her only brother. And her only brother's telling you, whatever happens, don't hurt my sister. I'm going on a date with Charlie Gardner. Maya is going out with Lucas. What do you do when you think you're doing what's right, but you're really just confused to you feel like life is trying to throw you on the ground? You hang on, Riley. <laughs> How did your time with Lucas go? And we sat there with absolutely nothing to say. <laughs> Been there. He needs someone like me to take him down. And he needs someone like you. For what? For what? To build him up. To tell his Ranger Rick stories to and, and make him feel like a hero. <laughs> you like his stories and, and he likes yours. Riley, I can't be your brother anymore. Hey, Fryer, do you think you'd pick a better time for this big announcement? Riley and I are gonna go on a date. You are? I'm holding hands and talking. Best date ever. Those are the rules? Who goes on a date and doesn't talk to each other? Oh, 
Oh, yeah, we do. Hey, Riley, what do you do when you snack to Huckleberry? Oh, yeah, I can't give you advice like that. Sure you can. You're a sister, right? Nope, not anymore. Why? Augie says we can't. Hey, Fryer. And you know what? I think he's right. You already have a great brother. Hey, Fryer. Then what will you be? I was going to buy some popcorn and licorice. You mean popcorn and chocolate? I'm not you. Lucas does anything for anybody. I mean, he sacrifices being Riley's brother so he doesn't hurt August's feelings. Well, same with Riley. She's stepping back from Lucas because she's doing exactly the same thing. Farkle, stop. What? I thought she didn't like him like that. No, Riley's stepping back from Lucas because... Farkle, you don't know what's going on. Stop thinking. I know Augie's right. He's your only brother. I've seen the way you look at Augie, and I've seen the way you look at Lucas. It's not the same. I, I, I think I know my own feelings. <laughs> You're a liar. Farkle, you're lying to yourself. Lucas and I don't make a good couple. You were both just nervous because that's not who you are. I don't care. Farkle, Maya is my best friend. She cares about him and he cares about her too. Mike, but we know he likes you. You can't tell me. How long are we avoiding this? Not avoiding nothing. Just life moving on beyond that thing that happened between me and Lucas. There wasn't a kiss. There wasn't? No. He just grabbed my head and stared at my face real close. Two young women with different ideas about what love is. One hid her true feelings to protect others. She felt this made sense. The other had more feelings than she knew what to do with. She was overwhelmed by sensibility. We had a deal. I gave you some time to tell everybody the truth about how you really feel. And you haven't done anything about it yet. Tell them you still like Lucas Riley. Just tell them the truth. Oh, you said that you wouldn't tell anybody. How could you do this to me? If you don't tell everybody how you really feel, this horn blows at midnight. Do you give in to your feelings or let your mind rule over your heart? I follow my heart. It gets me into trouble. My mind tells me to do what's right. Can anyone answer which is more valuable to follow? It depends on the situation. No, it doesn't. Just taking a shot! Very passionate. Thank you. And that's where we run into trouble. You set me up. The untamed heart can be reckless and sometimes harmful to yourself and to others. But pure intellect, never following your heart, is a life unlived. Sense and sensibility. What's the most important word in the title? Sense. Sensibility. And head and heart. You need to use both. What do you got there, Charlie? It's the couples game. Wanna play? What is it? it? Shows if you can be a good couple or not. Wanna play? No. no! What's wrong? Luke is scared. No, I'm not scared of anything. Let's go. Riley, I think you might find this interesting. Would you like to be my partner? Sure. You and me? Sure. What is your partner's favorite movie snack? I know this. It's popcorn and licorice. And something funny happens and she thinks she's laughed too hard she looks around the theater to see if anybody heard her and if she thinks something scary is gonna happen she reaches out and grabs your arm and she doesn't even know she did it's not your turn fryer and that wasn't the question gardner what's your favorite snack gummies yeah but what red you... yeah but what is she, she bites their heads off first so they feel less pain it's like a creepy creep creep why are you interested i'm not how would you describe your personality Library or campfire? Oh, well, you know. Have you ever kept a secret from somebody you love? Game over. Why? Because you know secrets are dangerous? No, Fargo, because it's almost midnight. And you know what happens at midnight? Okay, it's time to go up to the roof. I just need a little more time. No more time. We made a deal, Riley. We're not starting off the new year with lies between friends. I'm lying for my friend, Fargo. Riley. I think I've proven that I care about you, and I've learned a lot about you. Everything you say makes sense, Charlie. Is that enough? A good relationship needs more. You deserve more. The spot taken? I was saving it. For who? I don't know anymore. still loves Lucas. Because both of you are special to me, and whatever way you'll eventually tell me. What? 
about what I want. The only thing I'm in the middle of is a big mess with two of the people I care most about in the world. You both mean the world to me, and I would never do anything to hurt either one of you. So I choose to stop. You won't decide, so I did. And I decided that we're just friends. That's all we are. I don't want this to be the end of us. What? I looked at Riley. I know, I saw. So I'm looking at you to even it up. Oh, well, a girl always wants to be looked at to be evened up. And everything would be OK. Will it? I guess we'll see. We're just friends. We're not. We're no good at it. Still like it? He's not your friend! He's not what he do anymore! You're better than that. I'm asking you permission to ask out your daughter. I asked for your father's permission just to go on a date. According to the game, we get your daughter. Looking good, Georgie Washington. <laughs> hey, Riley, is that my boot? Can I please have that back? <laughs> Bonjour, and a kiss? Bonjour, Riley. Peut-être un jour, moi et vous allons en Paris ensemble. People change people. So you think they are like brother and sister? No. I just think they have a lot in common. Relationships are supposed to be about two people who make the choice to come together by themselves. Of their own free will at the right point in time. 